so we have a ride in Aruba. This is the vibe for the room. It's so cute. We're staying at the Boardwalk Hotel. He's excited because he always picks the best places for your girl. Always. He keeps me laced. Cute little mirror. The bathroom is very cute also. There's a closet that I'm going to fill. A shower. A little situation. And each... Um, area is really really private so you don't have to worry about other people okay so this is like the overview of the entire space and you do have like a full kitchenette in here this is the king And then outside of our mini apartment situation, it's we're literally living in a garden, like jungle situation. There is a hammock, an outdoor dining area, and the cutest nook that I will be outside. Look at this boy. Bruh, we need this shit. <laughs> God damn. This is the prelude to our honeymoon, right? Is that fresh coconut? That's real. That's real. What? This is a little closet situation, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Nobody can see you. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it and unpack real quick. So let's get it. <laughs> Really? Which time? Uh, me. The first time we went? Yeah. Oh Lord, that's the time I went off on you. 2017, yeah. That one I wouldn't get in that car. <laughs> she was just, I'm gonna just run back in. She was in. You in good position. You was 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 in good position. You Okay, so what's left is basically swim pajamas and like underwear. I was gonna hang up this dress, but I think it's gonna stretch it out because it's like one of those cutout situations. So I'm not going to hang that up. I'll likely we wanted two dinners or one. One dinner Tuesday, one on Wednesday. Okay. So I'll save that from one of those dinners. But that go the rest of my clothes and my shoes. So I think I'm gonna put this on top of the safe. Cause I don't see a luggage uh, stand in this room, which is interesting. that station in 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 Houston okay so we're here been here for I don't know maybe like a couple of hours or so the only thing that we've really done is had <laughs> <laughs> we're about to go get something to eat though so I'll take you guys with us go get something to eat and then 
then we'll just kind of see what else the rest of today brings because we didn't really have any plans today. And what you got? A little bit of everything real. Thank you. Where are what's the name of this place? <laughs> Yo, this is local Aruba Radio playing Houston Screw. They remixed it. Somebody like rapping over it. Wait. Yeah, I really took it. Maybe it's a remix. And I talk loud cause I bounce like the outlaw. Okay, now that's Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> See? We on first. They're actually playing, it's a remix. But the fact that they're playing Houston music in Aruba. Wrapped in four holes. Four foes, I'm tipping. Wood grain, I'm gripping. Catch me, you ain't sipping in the paint dripping. Turn your neck and nose and your dame. What, what's the first say? DJ Cho. I don't know how to wear it. Everything that I'm in between. Okay, okay. No, hold on, bro. He got me on this beautiful beach at sunset next to this refinery. <laughs> Good, how are you? It's so pretty. Breakfast is served. We have pancakes. What is this? Like an omelet and an acai bowl. That bowl is so big. That's what she said. We're getting a late start this morning. Unfortunately, I use NYX deodorant and it is not giving what it needs to give. You can eat. I took my video. So we're going to go ahead and eat and then explore the island for the day. Less girls, less boys. Swim trunks. Okay, y'all, we just left. Are we actually still sitting here? Wait, is this, get I didn't get no is this the Natural Bridge Pool? Is that what this is called? Yes. So we're at the Natural Bridge Pool, or we're just like getting out. But I couldn't bring like my camera and stuff to record. You have to like walk down a ladder into a cave, essentially. And it's almost like a cenote situation, but it's like completely surrounded by coral so just know like the situations aren't ideal for anything other than your body and your shoes and you definitely need shoes because that coral it's a beast but imagine like the desert with caribbean waters this is the caribbean right mm -hmm. with caribbean waters but it's very deserty and the island is extremely windy so, over here is the ruins and there's some other like beachfront situation um, that I wanted to go to. So we'll see what else today brings before we get ready for dinner. Right. We got like five more hours today to explore. Okay, I'm gonna walk back for you guys so that you can see it, but it's really windy. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
To show you guys what our hotel looks like so it is in a gated area it's a very small private hotel it is called boardwalk it is so freaking gorgeous so yeah look at this i love this little moment here with the i've never seen them move this i actually think that this might be here solely for decorations well, yeah when you walk in, of course, it's giving all vibes. It's such like a tropical, they have this set up to be really private, tropical and almost like apartments so you can't really see any of the rooms until you get super close oh i'm gonna go get a drink i'm looking a little bit oh y'all running don't run from me friend they got the vibes going at the pool So there's so many trails there actually is an area where there's like a private house with its own kind of like a mini pool or like jacuzzi situation and there's two pools on the property a smaller one and a larger one So ours is kind of in a bag. It's kind of like ducked off in a corner. See? So yeah, watch out baby, it's slippery. Here's our cute little adobe. And we have this area that's so cute, right outside of our window. You have to get that, you took my key back. Here's a look. Alright y'all, so dinner is next. Excuse. This is the fit. Mm, wow. I met a guy at the pool. This I zoomed out as if I stick in. Okay. I met a guy at the pool. His name was Eduardo. He's a bartender here. And he told us to go to a club tonight. So before we go to dinner, I'm going to head back over to Eduardo at the pool. And see where else he was talking about going. Because there was one other place that he works at before the club. But he recommended the club Gusto's to us. He said that's where he was going around 11. Um... 
but to come get drinks at another spot or another hotel or something before we go so that that's what we doing where my puppy at you ready cuban yeah. you cuban puppy okay maybe a little bit better but i have on jacquemus black top a attico skirt and some bottega all of this is esque um heels so the skirt does have like a hell of a high split it kind of comes up high it's very like asymmetrical hopefully you guys can see it i think i'm gonna carry this bag because the other bag that i have is pink and this little straw situation it really makes it a little bit beachier not as dressed up but i do have like a formal pink bag that i might wear Cute, cute, cute. Woo! Oh, the little pug, he's so cute. Okay, I can't walk on this sand. I wasn't. Oh, oh my bad. No, the owner's dog, here. Benji. Have a good time. Like, right. Hi, puppy. And she was like, I'm gonna book you one of those. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> he's always booked. <laughs> you seem you like you are very spoiled and yeah. very <laughs> friendly. Okay, that's all I got for you, Benji. I ain't got no food. So this is, I wanted to introduce you guys to my new zaddy. But my zaddy, <laughs> he was going to give me that. You put the, the, the definition of the difference. <laughs> right, right. So y'all, these were the shoes that I wore because I did not anticipate being in the literal stand see nick got on yeezy he was smart but for me i got on these so i'm actually gonna take them off and just toes in the sand yeah it's gonna be a toes in the sand type of day so, i'll put them on put them back on when we leave and go to the club tonight but for now shoes is off we gonna eat, uh, I'm gonna eat a three course dinner barefooted. Okay, what's on? Oh, shrimp bang bang salad. Garden salad with chicken, onion, vinaigrette. Creamy pumpkin soup, I don't want that. This is beautiful though. This is very good. Mm -hmm. This is the villa that I wanted. I'm gonna show y'all. I wanted this villa, but apparently there's only one. Cause if we were in this one, I wouldn't have to take off my shoes. I wanted this. This is what I wanted right here. So they named it Sue Villa. Sue means sweet or nice. Oh, sweet Sue. Sweet Sue Villa. <clears throat> That's amazing. Each of, the, each of the villas have a, a story behind them. Someone that, that you love doing. And that's where it's not the truth is. And that's Roman. That's the people that do. Is this one yours? Nope. This is truth This is my son. I've been a truth He's a musician, so they've got a piano in there and guitar. Oh, that's funny. This is beautiful with the windows. and. Oh, so each one is totally different. That's nice. That's tight. I like that. <clears throat> That's beautiful. So, have you been a journalist your whole life? Yeah, this is beautiful. Let me wipe off. Oh, they have baths for you. That's dope. She made that chandelier after the stories are all about the trees, and she posted my stories. You do the photography too? No, that's oh. me. <laughs> a sweet Sue Villa. Shower. Most of the ones are outside showers. I I am actually dying to shower outdoors, <laughs> butt naked. <laughs> there's, there's air conditioning in the bed. Right. Like inside. Feel it. Right. Feel it. It's inside. 
So other people stay in your villa while you're not here. Yeah, no, I come a couple times here. It was dedicated to me, but then she rented it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sweet Sue Villa, that's what she named it. Right. It's got a swing and a jacuzzi. This is beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? Right. I just got the jacuzzi. And it had, I see the swing. And this is like the tip of the that's, boat. That's not normally there. They're, they're building a walkway. So normally I'd have a clear view. So they're, that they'll have another villa here. No, there's going to be a walkway. You make another one in mangrove. Okay. So I'm going to move this eventually. So. This is beautiful. I need to switch over my profession from blogging to writing. This is my daughter. She likes vegan travel. Oh, she's oh. the vegan vacationista. She's got her own blog, a vegan travel. It's called Vegan Vacationista. Yeah. That's yeah, such a cute name to too. This is the oh, this Grace is, Bay. That's it. Yeah, Aruba. Yeah. This is, this is a photos guide that I write every year, or every two years. Uh, this is the one I'm updating now. Yeah, oh, yeah, nice. I love that place. Oh my god, this is amazing. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Sue. Have you ever been? Have you been in Hawaii? It's just cool. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll go there tomorrow. Then tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's go if you want to go for lunch. Go to called the Beach Bar. Literally. Part of the busy all inclusive stuff, but, but they have it, it's open to the public. It's where you have the Pelican Bowl and oh, okay. walk from there, and then you go see. Yeah, because today we went to the I'm natural cave. I'll be there tomorrow. I'll go to the tavern. Okay. Tomorrow. Yeah, we went to the, the natural, natural bridge. The natural bridge. Yeah, and well, that's, the, that's the baby bridge. Cause the yeah, the, the, the big, big one, one fell. fell. Yeah, 2010. Yeah. I know everything. Yeah. <laughs> see, that, she does. That, uh, the one, the, one, the one bridge we went to. Have you gone to San Nicolas, the art walk? No. Oh my God, it's all, all the outdoor murals. It's like. You're probably going to want to be a uh, way. Yeah, so. Normally three, four times a year. But I usually travel. Oh no, they've had a million hurricanes. Yeah. But um, if you're going to buy a place. So we just met the nicest lady. Her name is Sue. She is a journalist, a travel journalist. She showed us her villa. It's popping. And told us about like other places to go and even places that we should purchase property in. And she did recommend Aruba or Turks and Caicos. So, babe, where we gonna go next? Turks and Caicos. Period. South Beach. In Aruba. Okay, in Aruba. What you doing? Okay. They got the clubs out here. They really on Nick's side. Nick, raise down your window. Uh -oh. So there's like a bunch of bars and clubs. We haven't been to this side of the island yet. It's popping. It was right down the corner. Let's, can we walk just for a little while? Walking to Flamingo Beach. I'm doing a long side, long ways so Lee could do her little video. She really gonna do this video a lot. 
That's where she said she need to be, y'all. It is. There isn't a whole, whole lot of flamingos. You're talking maybe five, seven? About five to six. Five to seven. Five. Yeah, five okay. to seven, yeah. So definitely less than ten flamingos on the whole beach, and they're only on the adult side. So when we met um, our travel journalist, Sue, Sweet Sue, at the hotel last night at dinner, she told us that the best beach in Aruba is Eagle Beach and it's actually closer to our hotel. So now we're at Eagle Beach. Um, and then the Flamingo Beach, if you don't stay in a Renaissance hotel, which Nick and I had absolutely no intentions on staying there because it's just not our vibe. The beach is 125 US dollars. The first time I looked, it was $100, so I'm assuming that it, it went up a little bit since But I don't think COVID. they really, because they looked at my uh, ticket and it was like, okay, go ahead. And then there was nobody there, but I think in order to get your food, that's when you have to show them your scanner. Or your food so and your drink, because it comes with a meal and one drink. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you know somebody that's coming that same day, y'all could kind of swap out the ticket and maybe say something different i don't know long story short it's definitely ways to get around it because they're they're checking but it's not you know yeah oh he getting naked oh ass <laughs> <laughs> she like the booty i do like the booty <laughs> um so yeah we're at eagle beach right now it's beautiful so far we haven't got out obviously oh it's gonna park over here i guess oh yeah we can park because it's kind of it ain't nobody back here but the water is beautiful, so this is giving me change swimsuits because, yeah, I'm going to change. And I'm going to be like that old white man that had his booty out. I'm going to change, and then I think I'm going to get in the water. I got in the water a little bit with the flamingos, but not, not too, too much. Because the coral or the rocks on the bottom of that beach, it's hard to walk in. And I lost the nail, y'all. I lost one. Dark chocolate yes my skin is gonna be dark honey it's giving very much so dark i love it i am very tanned at the moment the swimsuit that i wore is by another black owned brand it's called andrea what's her last name her first name is andrea though and then i have on these char workroom shorts with it and i wore this Louis toe and those Gucci slides and then Yeah, I'm gonna put on this swimsuit from less girls and less boys that they sent to me This swimsuit got all these like straps and strings and although it's cute You got to keep adjusting it and I don't feel like doing it anymore Ooh. Yes, Lord it is hot. <laughs> Yeah, I feel you babe Change I ain't even put on the overshirt. I just didn't feel like it. It almost looks like Flamingo Beach, but yeah, very wide open, very like spacious. And it's not as many people. I need my sunglasses. Can you hold it? That sun again. Is it saying hot? I don't know. <laughs> it is very blue.
and I have my disposable camera because I figured that I would start documenting on film cameras so I bought a few from Amazon and we got about eight more left on this one Back at the hotel and in our room, I went to the pool to see my friend Eddie that I met yesterday. That's a bartender that does happy hour here. And he made me a drink and I just kind of like hung out by the pool. Cause we've been at the beach all day and now the pool. So Nick actually wants to take a nap. But me, I'm turned up. So I'm gonna take a shower, wash my face. We don't have dinner until eight. So I got like three, four hours, three hours. So I'm gonna try to dry out my braids some kind of way. dinner time y'all we are getting ready to go i have on like this coat gaia dupe dress my off-white scarf just because my hair is still wet a black on business for some earrings some stackable bracelets one of these my best friend bought me and i'm not wearing heels tonight back with these gucci slides that i've had on all day and this bag because nick said it looked better than the other one y'all our room is in shambles but that's okay because we got a pack mm -hmm. and nick is wearing his a lady made jordans gotta support the women period it was hard pretty hard trying to find my size yeah because goat. they're made for women and not men yeah goat was uh on that bullshit. yeah because they didn't ship the original one so he had to repur get a refund and repurchase them which was it came out cheaper so i guess it worked out in your favor look, they it's, they it's look good i had to get mine from StockX too so well yeah. he got his from go i had to get mine from stock came from china i was like what? mine came from china too i think they came from hong kong or something oh, okay. we're actually an hour early for dinner or hour hour and a half something like that but i'm trying to take a picture before the sun goes down because here the sun goes down at seven yeah like right at seven and it's like 6 45 ish so i really want to get picture in before it goes down then we'll have a little bit of time before dinner <laughs> i was trying to get the snap crackle pop bop bop hey after dark y'all if i could sing we can walk pretty much we're back this, <laughs> we'll turn around and unless you let's see if they have a party spot over there okay it's supposed to be free park but yeah damn <laughs> <laughs> and so we're 45 minutes early it's a two it's a five minute walk or a two minute drive or one or a longer drive probably because you gotta find a parking let's see if they're gonna let us park <laughs> and the name of this restaurant is Atari. Atari. Is, is that what it is? It's super cute. But it's an oceanside restaurant. It looks so good. It's just first course. We have to use our cell phone lights because you know it's dog out here. It's, it's giving real sexy. Y'all. This is the grouper. Oh my. And Nick has beef tenderloin. It's almost like a surf and turf. Right. And potato. 
this. Look at this. Ooh, babe, are you excited? Are you excited? Are you? Take the first bite and tell me what it's like. <laughs> Took that run. First, you gotta get a little crumble. Well, I don't know. I kind of want to get some of that. Like, get a little apple. Y'all, we are back from dinner. It was so good. I highly recommend this particular place. Yo, 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 yo. It's on the streets, baby. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, but dinner was really, really good. I got grouper. Nick got like a surf and turf. Or was it beef? Beef skirt steak. With shrimp. And with shrimp and potatoes. We didn't get any drinks. I'm kind of like all drinked out, honestly, because I had two drinks earlier today. And we've been in the sun a lot today. We spent probably like a good six to eight hours in the sun. No, we probably spent like eight to ten hours in the sun today. Quite a bit because we went to two beaches earlier. So, needless to say, your girl. And I went to the pool after we went to both of those beaches. Needless to say, I am tired i'm sleepy and i'm full so i'm gonna get out of this probably do like a little light packing session so that i could get up earlier tomorrow because we have a couple of more things that we want to do before we leave um tomorrow we leave kind of like in the afternoon so we're going to spend the morning doing as much as we possibly can Y'all, it is our last day in Aruba. We've already kind of like been up this morning because it's been a slightly busy morning. I did have to shoot some campaigns this morning and then we kind of like shot at our hotel or whatever. And now we're about to eat breakfast. Nick is outside getting his breakfast. We were going to try to make it to this art wall, but I don't know. We have to see. Yeah, we got to see because our flight leaves in about four hours. Four hours, but you know, we got to be at the airport slightly early. Then we have to return and rent a car also. So, y'all know all of those things take time. So, let's go eat breakfast. Get out of this beautiful hotel that I don't want to leave. And see what we can squeeze in in like the extra 30, 45 minutes that we have. I'm coming. It just got here. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, it's like dripping over the top. Yeah. Yeah. What my jerk shall I take fish? Yeah, what you had that first restaurant we ate? Had that little Cuban spot on that when you or that phone was that tape. <laughs> I don't know. You had fish or shrimp? I had shrimp. Shrimp, plantain. What a delicious. Beans and rice, yeah. And those little vegetables. Our Cuban cafe, y'all. My phone was on the edge of the table. I went to the restroom, and before I left for the restroom, I said, Nick, can you watch my stuff? Can I leave it? He was like, yeah. Okay, I come back. I'm looking around. I was like, my phone is gone. Where's my phone? Apparently, when the waiter took our food, they took my phone. I don't know how. What the hell? And I was like, my phone was right here for a fact. It was right here. And they had it at the bar. And I was like. I thought you, when you take your stuff, I thought you meant like your purse. That's my phone. I left everything on the table. They don't want to watch the TV. Yes, I saw you. I dug it too. It's still new.